Debris for miles. The latest round of severe weather leveled buildings and shredded crops. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Stone. I'm David Earl. The wind was so strong it tipped an RV over and snapped tree trunks. Omaha's news leaders live with team coverage today. Joey Safdick shows us the destruction in southwest Iowa. We begin though with Jonah Gilmore at an RV park in Greenwood to show us the damage left behind. Those storms brought down trees and power lines, but just to show you how powerful those winds were, it actually overturned a camper with a family of four inside. It was kind of frightening to tell you the truth. Visitors at the Pine Grove RV Park and campground say they've never experienced anything like Tuesday night storms. We didn't even know the tree fell down until afterwards. We looked out the window, we couldn't see anything because the tree was lying there. That snapped tree is now sitting on part of Tom Welsh's car and trailer. That trailer was rocking and I mean, we thought that thing was gonna flip over but just yards from away. The trailer had flipped over and trees were just snapped like twigs. The family inside is from Texas in town for a youth baseball tournament. The father, who did not want to go on camera, says one of the two kids had to be taken to the hospital. They're definitely bruised up and battered. Lisa Daughtry witnessed the trailer tip over and feared herds would do the same. It sounded like a freight train. That's the, the noise was just deafening and I knew what that noise meant and I could feel our trailer being picked up and moved. These campers say everyone pitched in to help, praying they would be spared from the worst. We can live with that, so we're lucky, thank God. The family tells me the next step is contacting their insurance company and getting this taken care of. They say they're just thankful to be alive. In Greenwood, Jonah Gilmore, KETV Newswatch 7.